heard about China's new insane arch branch? One of the oldest civilizations still in existence and prospering today is that of China. Since the ancient Chinese civilization started to flourish around the Yangtze River in approximately 2000 BC, one dynasty after another has risen to power in China. Because the nation has never experienced a major foreign invasion or natural disaster, Chinese civilization has continued to grow and prosper despite internal conflicts and struggles for dominance. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't forget to do so. You can then click on the bell symbol to receive notifications whenever new exciting videos are posted to our channel. Moving on, mega project success can't be foreseen. For instance, the United States spent $17 billion on a mega project that was never even used and still entirely ineffective today. The emergence of bridges connects the region and facilitates people's daily travel. It can be said that without a bridge, there's no universal traffic network today. Mountains and rivers give birth to a brilliant human civilization, but they also slow down the pace of human communication development. With its excellent infrastructure capabilities and overall national strength, China has a total of more than 1 million bridges. China has constructed various bridge projects that have astounded the globe, such as the world's highest bridge, the Bipanjan Bridge, and the world's longest cross-ocean bridge, the Hong kong zohai Mekel Bridge. As we all know, China is home to a large number of ambitious, talented, and hardworking engineers. These engineers have dedicated their lives to this great nation, breaking countless world records and building amazing bridges that make people gasp and recoil. For this reason, China is known as the father of the world's bridges. Recently, China successfully constructed an arch bridge with the largest span as a gift to the rest of the world. Let's get into the video. Let's now analyze the Chinese bridge engineers' unending knowledge of how to build arch bridges. Today, China has become a global superpower, dominating many industries including construction. China knows very well that in order to build something large, you need large machines and a large workforce. Add these two factors together and you have the perfect recipe for building megastructures at previously unheard of speeds. Building bridges is neither fast nor easy, but China has proven this wrong with the help of a monstrous machine called the SLJ-900, developed by Beijing Wao Joint Machinery Company. The SLJ-900 is almost 300 feet long, 24 feet wide, and weighs a monstrous 580 tons. One SLJ-900 can help create nearly 100 bridges per hour. In the past 10 years alone, China has laid down a network of over 6,000 kilometers of road every year. Chinese engineers used some world-first technologies to build the magnificent steel-framed concrete arch bridge, which is 1,035 meters long with a 575 meters span and more than 15,000 tons of high-strength steel. The structure of the bridge comes in many forms, and before this, China used the traditional flat bridge deck and column pier technology. The Bipendrian Bridge employs suspension bridge technology but the type of bridge we're discussing here uses arch bridge technology, which makes use of a massive steel structural arch to support the weight of the bridge deck. When they first saw the bridge, Western bridge builders were astonished. The technical challenge is challenging to conquer since you want to build an arch bridge with a span of more than 500 meters. Outside of China, there have been no successful large span arch bridges, so why does China use this design? Bridges with long spans are typically supported by suspension structures or traditional structures, but this time a steel-framed arch bridge spans 575 meters. Simple environmental considerations make this design the most appropriate for the area. The soil layer on both sides of the river is weak from the top down and is made up of a layer of pebbles that's very permeable and powdery. The bridge is situated on a complex geological structure. To assure the safety of the bridge, the foundation must be excavated more than 40 meters. When an arch bridge design is used, Large support points can be set up on both sides of the steel structure bridge arch to bear the pressure of the bridge, preventing the bridge from collapsing for decades. If a traditional rope bridge design is used, the entire weight of the bridge will be supported by the piers on both sides, which can easily lead to the collapse of the piers and then the bridge. The foundation of the arch bridge is built directly above the pebble layer by connecting the wall around and injecting mud into the pebble layer. Even if the foundation conditions are poor, the milling machine and the gripper are used to make a groove, place the steel cage inside, and finally pour a concrete over it. This application provides a reference experience for arch bridge construction under poor geological conditions. To construct the bridge, Chinese bridge engineers used a lot of new technology, such as a newly developed self-compact, non-shrinkage composite expansion concrete. 
Previously, the bracket construction method was primarily used to build arch ribs on brackets, seal them, and then remove the brackets. As technology advanced, however, they also began to use other methods. With the development of modern transportation and the increasing size of the arch bridge span, China has created a more advanced construction method that uses a staffless cable lifting system. The original construction method of building arch bridge support is not only expensive but also risky. As China gains experience in building bridges, this bracket construction method has fallen behind. These bridges with high arch diameters can no longer be constructed using this technique. Considering how crucial air control is, how did these steel plates come to have arched circles? The first step is to perform a spot check inspection of the materials, followed by a material fitting. Now we can see the digital control flame cutting machine using these cutting machines to open the steel plate. The goal of opening the slope is to improve docking so that the steel goes into a hole. After that, a piece of steel plate is rolled through the large mechanical circle into an arc surface, and the arch ring is complete. The huge arch circle manufacturing then became a reality in the hands of engineers through calculus, thinking of direct substitution of curvature with the completion of the foundation pouring in both the north and south. The main arch ribs of the bridge began to be transported from Germany to the construction site through a few qualified kilometers of water, but it was not very easy to assemble the hundreds of tons of steel skeletons. But in the face of difficulties, Chinese engineers prevailed. Additionally, the bridge utilizes Baidu positioning technology with multiple precise sensors on its arches. This allows it to easily obtain Baidu positioning data down to the millimeter level and continuously monitor the shape of the bridge arch. If the shape of the arch is found to be deformed, active control technology is used to restore the arch to ensure the bridge's safety. Once again, let Western bridge professionals view China's current solid bridge building strength. China's bridge construction is being given more and more attention by the world behind the bridges. It is the silent work of generations of bridge engineers. Last but not least, it is important to note that a preliminary study has shown that it's possible to build a CFSD arch bridge with a clear span of 650 meters. Additionally, we anticipate the early emergence of a concrete arch bridge with a span of over 700 meters, which will set a new record and propel the development of arch bridges. With the rapid technological advancement of the times, China is transitioning into a bridge power. The accomplishments of China's technological development in bridge construction are the culmination of the ability, wisdom, and sweat of bridge engineers. The transformation of the Chinese people has been accompanied by the strengthening of China's overall national power, reform, and the opening of China's bridges. What do you think about China building the biggest arch bridge project in the world? Please let us know your views in the comments section below. And that concludes the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and let us know if you want to see more just like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to stay updated anytime we post a new video. Thanks for viewing, and I'll see you in the next video.